I think one of the important questions to ask is one, interest rate and two, the APR. So the interest rate is it's part of the terms of the loan, right? The conditions, the terms. This is how we calculate the payment. This is the amount you're going to pay back, right, along with the principal. But when it comes to APR, annual, annual percentage rate, I think it's very important because this is this is what allows you as a consumer to shop around um, for a loan. And this, this is how um, you can compare apples to apples, right? So, for example, if I go to lender A, they quote me a 7% interest rate with a 10% APR. I go to lender B, they quote me the same interest rate, 7% with a 20% APR. I know that lender B, even though they offer the same same interest rate, and maybe they may be friendlier. <laughs> I know that at the end of the day, at the end of the term, I'm going to be paying a lot more for that transaction, right? So the APR is the total cost of the loan expressed in an annual percentage rate. And if the terms of the loan doesn't quote you an APR, it means it's not a loan, right? You may be getting into another contract or um, some kind of predatory uh, or into a contract with a predatory lender where they don't have to quote you a loan, right? I worked with clients that take on loans that are 200%, right? And they're not quoted in APR. It's more of a contract. It's like, Diana, here's $50,000 and you're going to pay back $70,000 of your future sales in six months. Um, and a daily payment, right? And that's going to have a daily payment. So it's not necessarily, it doesn't have a term breakdown and it is, it is, it's not going to quote you an APR, but it is a contract between you and that lender. And those contracts can be really confusing and really costly and can hurt your cash flow.